Alright guys, so this video we're gonna get the um we're gonna get the second fragment created and we're gonna have a look at how to implement a method of getting the clicks from here into the next fragment or how to get the information in. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna create a new fragment first of all, okay? So we're gonna create a new fragment and what's gonna be called elements details fragment. And we're going to browse and we're going to subclass fragment. And we're going to override around create view. So whoever showed me this trick of the sourcing is a very, very good person. Because I never knew that that feature was there. So where's our on create view? There we go. Create. And we're just going to create our uh, view for that fragment. Now the view for the fragment is going to be a little odd. It's going to be this, it's the same view for this, the fragment itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to call this elements details fragment, okay? And finish. So now we've got this here, elements details fragment. We're just going to make this uh, a text view essentially. And we're going to set its layout gravity, other properties, all by name, our layout parameters, layout gravity, all the way over center horizontal. Okay, and we're going to call this te details text. Yeah, we don't need to use it. So just uh, create our edit ID, just details. Our, yeah. So we've created our details text in a fragment, ready to go. So we'll show you how to handle this now in a second. So we'll just create our fragment to uh, inflate that layout. So we're just going to go over here. We're actually just going to go to the elements list fragment and get our view view inflator. I was going to say view. And we're going to change this to elements details fragment. Okay, so we're ready to go. We've got all our views ready. And everything's pretty much ready to go at this point. So then now the question is, how do we link the fragment, so, okay, so let's look at what's common here. The click is always, this fragment is always going to be in main activity regardless, okay? So, and the main activity, we could have the fragment decide what to do, whether to fire off a new activity, or what we could do is we can send information up to the main activity itself, and then let the main activity decide what to do. That's one of the best ways to do it, because if you've, fragments communicating with each other because if you have the fragment processing it, it it'll work but it'll be messy this is a much cleaner method of doing it okay so if we go to our main activity okay and we're ready and we have everything here so let's get rid of that stupid comment so we go to the main activity and what we're going to do is this is a little bit hairy but we're going to build an interface now we're going to build a java interface essentially so we're going to make the interface a subclass of this. Now there's reasons for this. It's because only well, we don't want to create a new file for an interface and we can put it in here. So we're going to public interface. Okay. Now we're going to say this elements list item handler we're going to call it. Elements list click handler. HND handler. Well, doesn't matter, okay? If you didn't know what an interface is, a pure abstracted method. So we're going to make a method in here, or a, a method with no body. So the method's going to be called public. And we have, we have our interface ready to be put in. So we're going to call this public on handle element. handle element click okay 
Ah yes, now the return type, we're going to set to void. There's no need to return anything from this uh, actual thing, okay? Now this here has to have a, a parameter passed in. It's going to be called, it's going to be int position. So that's the parameter we're going to pass in. So what we're going to do is this interface, okay, is going to be implemented by our main activity. So then when we click an item, we're going to call a method from the main activity itself. So for two, we're going to call the method in here, which is going to be this interface. So we have to implement our interface. Implements, and we're going to say elements list fragment, just to show you where I'm getting this interface from. Dot elements list click handler. So it's a big long. Okay, so that's our interface implemented. And look, it's telling us here that we need to add an unimplemented method. So we now have this. This method is overriding the one in this. But now, so what's going to happen is we're going to tell this when, it, when an item is clicked to call this method in the main activity. And we can actually check if the main activity implements this or not, which we know it does, but if let's say it doesn't implement it, it'll throw an exception and close down the app or do something like that. Or you could have it fail quietly in the background, which, you know, bad coders, bad coder monkey, if you do that. So now we have our list and handle element click ready. That's fair enough. So how do we call this activity? Well, we're going to set up a handler or a list and, and on this is something I always have a trouble with <laughs> we're going to implement something here and I'm going to have to pause the video here for a second and uh, look for a method look for the actual callback for a list view clicks so hang on okay so what we're actually implementing here is on item click listener okay and this is our well, implemented method. So this is our, oh great. And this is our position here. So just copy and paste position. And long arc tree, so we'll leave them here. So we've done this before. We've set up uh, things here. Elements list dot. I guess we spell help if I spelled it right. I wanted the thing to pop up dot, dot set on item click listener and we'll just say this because this activity, this fragment is an on item to click listener because it implements that. So on item click, what do we want to do? First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get the activity or on item click so we've got our position so if you look here at the arrays if i open up the arrays you'll see that the arrays start a hydrogen and end down a uniwoctonium which i think is a made-up element and as you can see here see all the details here about the acti about them look at that look all this information all that information there look matches so these element arrays actually match the elements themselves so what we can do is we can get the position of the item clicked in the first array or the first list and then pass that position and use that position to get the details later on because if we didn't have this method we would have to create 118 fragments that could be implemented but what we're actually going to do is we're going to have create one fragment, pass it a value of whichever item is clicked, and then we'll pull and use that to pull the information back out. So it's a much, much, much simpler way and it saves you a lot of hassle. And let's face it, no one writes or want to write 118 uh, fragments or create a ridiculous amount of fragments. So we've got all this ready. So 
what we need to do now is we need to implement the uh, method or call the method from the main activity. Okay, so now we have to, um, in order to check that, because if we don't have this method here and we say get activity call this method, and the method's not there, well then we're going to cause the gaps just going to explode and we're going to have a problem. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to implement the unattach. Okay. So we're going to go down to our source code. We're going to implement override and we're going to get the unattach. And boom, we have unattach ready. So in this unattach, what we're going to do is, hang on a sec. What we're going to do is we're going to get this unattach uh, is going to check if the activity that it's been attached to contains it. So what we need to do is we're going to get this elements click list handler thing and we're going to create an instance of that in our activity, okay? Handler, or, uh, handler, let's call it. Okay. So we've got that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to get the activity, okay? So we're going to try. So this is a try catch block because it's risky code because you're not sure if it implements it, but maybe, maybe not. So I believe it's called class cast exception. E. Yeah, the class cast exception. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this class here and now it's a little bit weird what we're doing here but this class implements another class this one here this interface so if it's implementing an interface we can actually cast an act the activity to an instance of the interface this is a bit weird we'll see why up here we have our handler item so if we say control c so if we put this here and in the activity on attach handler equals now what we're going to do is we're going to cast it so which means we need this so we're going to cast our activity okay and we're going to say get activity okay so what this is going to try and do is this is going to get the activity so when, the, when we are attaching the thing to the activity the fragment is now locked into our activity ready to go then what we're going to do is we're going to get the activity that's attached to and we're going to pass or we're going to cast that to our handler instance and if it doesn't work we're going to have an error so we're going to say we're going to log dot i we're going to say activity activity plus and we'll actually use get activity dot to I believe it's get activity. I believe we can do the activity dot get class. Yep. Dot get simple name. Okay. Plus activity. So whatever activity, and I say does. handler interface. I know it's a big long gobbledygooky thing here I've written but feck it. Okay I have no idea what's happened. Oh there we go. Save. So now we have that. Ah yes. Be helpful I have put in the plus. Oh crap. I need to put in the tag. <laughs> Whoops. So tag done. So what we have is now we've cast that. So what's happened is the fragment is attached. And don't forget the fragment attaches before any of this is called. In order to make that a little clearer. I'll actually move that up here out of the way. So we've created the fragment. It attaches. It then goes to on create view. Okay. So now what we can say is. We can say handler. Dot. On handle element click position 
So that's that implemented. Job done. So when it's clicked, fires it up to the activity. And we're actually going to just quickly test this. This is probably going to be a long ass video because I'm daddling. And we're just going to say, uh, click that. Position. So this should in this should be working now. We're probably going to get an error as per usual because for some reason you're never able to get these things to work. So if we run it, we'll just let that load up onto the uh, device, and we'll see what happens. In fact, I'll actually rotate it to make it vertical. Okay, so let's click. There, look, main activity clicked at position seven. Let's just scroll down a little bit. Clicked at position 69. Clicked at position 100. So our element fragment is now accepting our clicks and passing them up to our main activity. And in the next video, we'll go over actually implementing a method of whether to load the extra fragment or not. So if we actually go to F11, Shift F11 here, or very quickly, or Control F11, we should notice that the uh, the list only goes ha a bit of the way across the screen. See, see our list view is over here. That's because our list view, um, as you can see, we've got our list view here. Look. And it's clicked at position 3, clicked at position 21, but look at this, look, 19. So as you can see here, we have the, uh, the list view here, and then we're going to load up the details about the fragment in this screen here. So that's what we're going to do in the next view, we're actually going to uh, set up passing over the details. So guys, if you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.